Way to Health program at the Cushy Institute has been uh, an enlightening uh, and profound experience for both of us. Yes, I found it to be really great. I loved it. Excellent program, especially for someone um, who's interested in learning how to use nutrition to really um, help heal themselves. Absolutely. I mean, what we've learned about uh, through the, uh, the program, the Way to Health program, is really connecting the dots about food and the system and really understanding that um, food is really medicine. And I really didn't always understand that. And so uh, um, it's really kind of a, a, it's an experience that's spiritual um, and basic in nature as far as, as, far as digestion and what the body does with food. So right. it's very... And before we came here, I um, really didn't know what to expect what we were getting ourselves into, so to speak. Um, uh, but having been here for the Way to Health program, and we actually decided to take the program after that called Way to Health Plus, um, it really opened up my understanding for what foods to focus on eating to improve certain um, conditions that I may be faced with. Um, and just understanding the balance of energy that's in foods. I never, I, I was never exposed to that type of information that food is energy. It, we know food gives us energy, but just understanding now the balance between what foods give you um, more of a positive energy and what yeah. foods maybe give you less of that impact. So, yeah. um, and, and, and just, we learned kind of the disconnect, uh, the emotional um, connection to food. And, and all of us have that. And, in these last two weeks, I think it's been a wake-up call of some of the uh, emotional connections or, or, or restrictions or, or cravings we have for foods. Not necessarily just the foods, but the emotions behind them, the, the, the history behind them. And so kind of separating that and, 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 and thinking just from a chemical basis from, and, and the balance of chemicals, uh, the yin and yang of, of life is really, you know, the component that they use in the in, helping us understand food and how it works in our body. Right. The teachers have, have been amazing. Uh, right. You know, all of them are super knowledgeable. Um, uh, particularly one of my favorite is Edward Esco, by far. Because the way he presented uh, the, the material about uh, the science uh, in food, such an animated way he did it. Yeah. He, he really broke it down in a simple um, format. It was easy to digest um, the information. And he's just a fun, animated uh, guy and makes you really understand the, the principles a bit easier. Right, and the other thing I really liked was um, that in the classes we got to see, we had classes where they were explaining different sets of information and then we also had classes where we were watching chefs prepare meals in front of us so we could kind of see how they're pulled together. <laughs> and then we also had classes where we were the chefs and actually had to uh, do some meal planning and, and also, you know, really get our hands in it, you know, cutting the vegetables. And, and I mean, f for me, that's something that's new to me because my husband has been the chef of the house and I've kind of just kind of, you know, sat, sat back in the cut just letting him do that. But now I have no excuse kind of help out a little bit. Um, I'm excited about that. And so it's, it's also empowering. You know, I found that now knowing what foods are better um, to to ingest than others um, and knowing how to prepare them now, and it just kind of gave me a sense of empowerment, especially since we have our kids and we really want to do what's best for them nutritionally. And I feel like I have a good set of information to take home for us to really, you know, move forward in this direction with the macrobiotics. So I'm really excited about